what's up y'all it's your girl join a loves and i'm back with another video a different type of video i want you to go on this journey with me of the fight of my life the fight to stay where i am because i don't have another option i don't have another option i don't have anywhere to go Shelter availability is very scarce out here. Boo does not want me to go to a shelter. I don't want to go to a shelter. Life as Felicia and Michelle doesn't want me to go to a shelter to a shelter. Lovely Samira does not want me to go to a shelter. And so many of of you guys don't want me to go to a shelter but at this point if I have to leave I have to leave and that will probably be an option it is way too expensive to get an Airbnb for a month it is way too expensive to get a hotel for a month everything is over two thousand dollars which I do not have for a month two months three months four months a year I don't have it so I need you guys' prayers and I need you guys to come on this journey with me okay so let's get into it so I've been living here for 15 years 14 years sorry 14 years and I have went through a whole eviction process before where I got all the way to where I had a court date I showed up at court and he did not and we were able to basically figure it out um, amongst ourselves so it was a mutual thing um, so this time around and um, if I get emotional I'm sorry um, I'm gonna try not to cry so I'm gonna pause when I feel like I need to cry um, so this eviction is an eviction that took me by surprise um, because I've done nothing wrong um, and it's all about discrimination it's all about hate it's all about lies and I want to take you on my journey of eviction whether I get an eviction because at this point I am to the point where I rather risk getting eviction on my notice I mean on my record than to just up and leave because it's wrong and one everybody knows that it's the it, we're in a pandemic so technically I am not supposed to even be served with any eviction notices until after June 30th June 30th or after it is June 11th um, so I have to go back to the beginning so let's go on my journey <laughs> um, I want to say it is 20 now so towards the end of 17 2017 or uh, yeah 2017 um, or mid 2017 um, the community property manager moves in with his family I am the type of person where I introduce myself and you know I let them know like I'm your neighbor upstairs you know I do have five kids it does get a little loud just let me know um, I'm not a pro I'm not a type of person to cause conflict and I stick to myself here and when I introduced myself she basically just wrote me off just well he doesn't like um, the back and forth 
first of all, my kids don't walk back and forth. They don't run back and forth down the hallways. It's not a house, it's an apartment. So it's gonna be loud, right? So I let that go, whatever. And then I was on live. <laughs> and I hear boom, boom, boom on my ceiling while me and my kids are cleaning up from dinner. And um, I answer my door and it's the wife. And the wife goes and says, your kids are effing stomping. You need to tell them to effing stop. And I said, my kids are not stomping. She is sweeping the carpet. Like she's sweeping the carpet, she's sweeping the floor. No, they're bumping in, it sounds like. And she starts stomping on the ground. And I'm looking at her like, that's exactly how I looked at her. I was like, really? And then I was like, like I said, my kids are not stomping. My kid, I have a 14 month old or a 24 month old or whatever she said. And you're making noise and my kids go to bed at eight. I said, okay, and it's eight o'clock. What? Right? And so she was like, you're making noise and you're disturbing them. First of all, quiet hour is at 10. Okay? So don't tell me that I'm being loud and it's not even 10 p.m. yet. Okay? Now, I can respect that if she came to my door at 10 p.m. And, you know, my kids were making noise. My kids were not. Okay? Before that, before she even came, I had got a noise complaint the day after. So, it wasn't even a full 24 hours before I got my first complaint. <laughs> so, I was like, okay. And then that, and then after that, I got her at my front door. Now, I have been getting harassed by him. My kids have been being have been getting harassed by him. Okay. Now, um, and when I say harassed, he has come to my door several times and I have been live or I've been on the phone every single time he's come to my house every single time he's come to my house I'm either on the phone or I went live or I was live and um, you know complaining oh your kids don't listen and then he put his finger in Nene's face and I was like don't you ever in your life put your hand in my child's face one two don't ever confront my child and don't ever speak to my child again I am her mother she is a minor you speak to me period is that understood then he goes and tells her and me if you don't listen to me and abide by what I say you're gonna get evicted I said is that a threat and he said, well, that's what's going to happen. Take it for what you want. Excuse me? Then he comes up to my house again and tells me that my daughter purposely, purposely dumped, um, purposely dumped um, mail out on the ground. How do you know my child purposely did this? How? If you weren't watching her so there was um, an a dog attack with my daughter I called the police and they took it as a joke like they the main the property manager whatever you want to call them he fucking took he he took it as a joke and so did his wife and I'm not happy so I called the police. I was on live then when that happened. And um, I did a police report on that. Um, then he says I illegally dumped water. Uh, maybe it was from my deep freezer when I was defrosting it. Never had an issue defrosting that. Um, or 
it could have been the dirty water that that was from underneath my sink in the bucket that you guys them Tracy Village apartment has not has not fixed yet okay so okay then he says oh you dumped a piece of furniture okay well I had to pay for the dumping fee for the company that they go through to pick up the dump stuff I had to pay for that pay for it cool then then my toilet overfloods early 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 in the morning And I get a bank at my door and it's him and I'm pregnant and I'm like oh my gosh I'm so sorry well you need to turn it off that's what you need to do and I said I know what I need to do goodbye and told my daughter to close the door then they wanted to charge then they wanted to say that there was bubbles on the floor in his bath in his bathroom so are you insinuating that I'm the reason why there are there is water there, there's um, bubbles on your floor that makes no sense then they insinuated that I left my tub running first of all if I would have ran my tub and it would have been running all night long my whole entire house would have been flooded okay so don't lie because you're lying then I said let me see the proof I want to see pictures no pictures were given to me no proof was given to me I never paid a dime for for damage or anything you live in apartments it's gonna happen pipes are gonna over they're gonna back up and then you're gonna flood and all that stuff so uh, from what they're saying, I got complaint after complaint after complaint after complaint after complaint, and never did I get a disciplinary action against me. Never did I sign a piece of paper saying the next time that this happens that I will be getting evicted. Never did I get a piece of paper giving me a warning. Never. Just boom. June 4th, eviction. It's 30 days illegal because if I live in a residence for longer than two, for two years or longer I am you can't serve me a 30 day so you're wrong buddy so anyway now I'm going through this I am so stressed so tense so irritated so frustrated my anxiety level is high and I just I'm just over it I'm just over it I'm ready for something to give I'm at my 11th minute mark um what have i been doing trying to help myself i've been trying to find all kinds of things i have a i have a legal i have a um a legal representation representation basically i have somebody that's representing me okay and um i've been in contact with her and I appreciate her so very much for her help. Um, I appreciate my sisters for helping me. I'm looking for other places. I'm filling out applications. I am getting on wait lists. I am doing everything. And a part of me just does not even want to fight it anymore and just be like, bye, take it. Because I don't want an eviction on my record. But. What can I do? By the time that's off of my record, I'll be 43. So. I'm not well. And. I'm stressing a lot. Like a lot, a lot. So, will I stop fighting? No, because it's wrong. So, I'm fighting for my right to stay. I'm fighting for my kids. They grew up here. They're growing up here. All their friends are here. And um, I'm fighting for them. 
excuse my appearance I look a hot mess right now <sighs> look a hot mess I'm tired I'm drained y'all um, I'm tired I rarely have slept rarely have slept I've tossed and turned off cat napped here and there and that's basically it I haven't done too much so with that being said I have to go cook dinner and I hope everybody is out there. I hope you guys pray for me. I need all the prayers I can get. I need God to answer prayers for me. Um, and pray that God rectifies this and overturns it. And so I can be able to get up out of here, y'all. I just need it to be overturned because I don't want any eviction on my on my record at all, you guys. So, with that being said, I want to say I appreciate you guys. I love y'all. And keep me in your prayers. I know I look I look bad, y'all. I really do. But um, I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.